Hello and welcome to another video of how to paint your gun. I am your host, the SprayPaintWish.com version of Bob Ross. Today we're going to go through a unique pattern which is called Fleck Tarn Cam. Fleck Tarn Cam is something that I kind of made up when I was trying to draft up designs for Fleck Tarn and Multicam. So I decided to make it a little bit unique and mash it together. So the paints we are using today is from Montana Gold. The colors that are going to be used today is NATO, NATO Green, Mushroom for our brown, Duck Season, which is for our tan, and Olive Green for another shade of green. Now, if you don't have those, uh, the more popular brand that I typically use is the Rust-Oleum Camo. These are also great spray paint cans that I use on most of my projects. So you can replace some of the colors here as follows. So this one is going to be Deep Forest Green. You're going to have Earth Brown, Camo Sand, and army green for your lighter greens. So I try to stick with the same brand if you're gonna apply on the gun because sometimes when you mix and match brands together, it can get kind of funky, it could get gummed up. So if you're gonna use Montana Gold, if you're gonna use Montana Gold, stick with Montana Gold. If you're gonna stick with Rustoleum, stick with the same brand. So I'm gonna flip this over to the other side, this was my, I guess it's called splinter cam that I'm trying to develop. Um, it's still in the process, but it may be in the shop soon. So the first coat that I'm gonna put is the NATO green. This pattern is gonna be more of a deserty pattern or a multi-use, like multi-cam pattern. So it's gonna have a little bit more bra browns and tans. Of course, you can change your colors depending on your environment and your spray paint. So if you need something in terms of multicam tropic, take a look at that pattern scheme and try to emulate it, but follow the instructions here. Now that the first coat is applied, I'm going to wait about 20 to 30 minutes with the fan on and let it dry. Now that's dry, we're going to use a little bit of the Montana Gold Duck Season or basically the Rust-Oleum kind of tan. You can put it in stripes or you can do it in splotches, however you feel. I'm also going to use some of the olive green just to lighten it up a little bit. After that, we're going to let it dry and then we'll apply the stencils. So if you are interested in the stencils, we sell it on our shop called Tactical Stencils on Etsy. This one sheet alone can cover more than one side if you're using it sparingly. But typically I would recommend one sheet for each side. So what we're gonna do now is get more of the smaller parts of the stencils to put on. What I like doing is getting in the transitionary parts of the spray paint. Kind of looks cool at the end. All right, now that the stencils are applied, I am going to use the mushroom color. I should have actually not put in the tan because we'll probably put the tan as the final base coat, possibly. Actually, change of plans. Let's go with tan first and then after that we'll have the final coat as uh, brown. Okay, we're gonna let this dry and after that we'll apply our second set of stencils. Alright, now I'm gonna use most of the stencils 
to capture the tan. What you can do too is layer the already put down stencils so you can get more of a flat tarn effect. Okay, last coat, which will be the mushroom color or the brown. If you're feeling adventurous, you can also try other types of brown or kind of splotch it in between. I think that kind of helps mix or blend the colors a little bit, so that's what I'm gonna do. This is totally optional though. Now that's dry, let's start peeling off the stencils. And here's a completed product. You can see kind of in certain spots right here, the paint has flecked off because this uh, airsoft gun has about 20 uh, different types of uh, coatings on it. So um, you would probably not see this uh, on your first application but if you don't like the certain color another thing that you can do also is to either lighten it or darken it with different types of uh, paint as well If you learned anything, please hit that like and subscribe button. If you are interested in purchasing our stencils, again, it's etsy.com and uh, our shop is Tactical Stencils. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.